And some people would look at them and say, well, they, they come from great families. You know, we know the, we know the all and say, wow, look at they love the Lord and, and look at all they've done and, and look and look at the wishers and look at they love the Lord and so the families keep them together. So some people would say. And some people would say, well, if you're financially set, you know, they say in the first year of marriage when your finances are difficult, uh, those are the things that uh, those can really cause tension. So if you, if you have a good budget, doesn't mean you need to make a ton of money. If you have a good budget, you're good to go. Other people would say, well, if you have love, all you need is love, and you're good to go. Some people would say that. All kinds of different answers. And I would say, specific to Chris and Christy, they have many of those things. They have a budget, and they have love, and they have anticipation, and they're excited, and they have good goals and dreams, and they have, they have compatibility. Exciting things for me as a pastor to see. But bigger than all those things, they have an idea and a knowledge of Jesus Christ. And they have a love for the Lord. And that's the answer. If you want to look at a marriage and say, well, how do we know this is going to work? Do they understand who God is? And are they going to act on it? I would, I'd like to uh, read from Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children. And many of us have heard the book of Ephesians so many times that we say, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know that. No, be imitators of God. The Almighty God who created everything, be like Him. See how He acts, see His character, and follow after that. And then verse 2 says, and walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Then we jump forward just a little bit. In verse 25 it says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave Himself up for her that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. Because we are members of his body, therefore, man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each of you, let each one of you love his wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. One of the phenomenal things I think in those verses, in verse 32, Paul says, I'm telling you that this is a mystery, something hidden in the past and revealed in Christ. And he's saying, I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. And that's not just Paul saying, hey, I've got an idea here, and I think this is what it is. He's saying, I'm telling you, this is really what it is. What a picture. So, in a marriage before Christ came, a marriage was still a picture of what was to come. And in your marriage, you have a picture. To, to a group of us that, that love you today, you have a picture of Christ and the church. And as you go away from here, and somebody you move far away, or do whatever, and you live your life, you're coming into contact with more and more people, and you're a picture of Christ and the church. And that is a phenomenal thing, and it's not a weighty thing, so much an opportunity for God Almighty. And I'll say this just as we had four four sessions of marriage counseling with them. And I knew Christy pretty well, I didn't know Chris as well. And I know Christy does everything full go and she feels things really, really strongly. And Christy doesn't go through life, but well, I don't care. She's like, ah, there, she's on it. And I didn't know Chris as well. He seemed pretty quiet. And I thought, you know, how's this? So I thought the first session, see how things go. Well, Christy is still full of life and alive, and she's on it. But Chris speaks truth to her. And Chris doesn't just stand back. It was good to see how they said in their relationship, he had corrected some things. And they had talked through some things. And they had said, hey, are we thinking rightly here? And as a pastor, that's what I love to hear because. In marriages, there's all kinds of times to say, ah, I'd rather look this way, or what about this, or I prefer it this way. And you guys say, I want to know God. And I want not just to know what people say about God, I want to know the God of the Bible. And I want to act on that. That's an exciting thing. And for all of us, we're not to just come to the wedding and say, I went there, I ate some cake, it was good, said hi to some people, and go off. We're here to be witnesses and to stand alongside you and say, hey, we want you to have a marriage that lifts up Jesus Christ. And that's what this group wants to do today. And that's what we pray for. And that's why we're excited to have So let's pray. Lord, I do thank you for Christ.
Chris, and thank you for Christy. Lord, I thank you that they're not just going through some formality here. I thank you that they're not just putting on a ceremony because they want to do something fancy to get off to their real life. But Lord, today they want to picture Christ and the church. And when it talks in that passage about husbands loving wives and wives respecting husbands, that's in there for a purpose. And the need that we have as husbands to respect and the desire we have as wives wives and her love is so apparent and I pray today at this wedding I pray your blessing on their marriage and I pray that they would love and respect each other and Lord I pray that they would know you and they would lift up Jesus Christ in every part of the world and I do pray these things in the name of Jesus Christ Inside of it, this is from Christy, and there was a note 